Alright, this is a quick video uh, about uh, the King Kong uh, screen capturing software that I have. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick how easy it is to do a logo or design something or to capture an image. Alright, I'm going to scroll down over to my King Kong capture. Alright, there you can do capture everything on desktop, capture window, uh, point and drag with a rectangle to capture and that's usually the most common one to do. Sorry for the flickering of the screen. I'm using a CRT screen right now. Uh, Alright, I have a dragon image right here that I just went on to Google search uh, and just typed dragon. Alright, um, you see where it's a plus sign? Well, maybe you can't. Hold on, let me go to my other screen. Uh, where's my mouse? There it is. See right there where it's a mini plus sign? Alright, now I'm going to click and drag any image that I want out of this, all right, uh, which will capture, oh, let's say I just want this head for that. See how I just did that? Now I copy and open up my openoffice.org uh, web page or, or actually document page and I'll open a new page here just because I have other graphics going and I'll click control control V which is which is the paste button and now I have this graphic that I can use to edit, change, whatever. Uh, and the cool thing about um, this screen capturing software is that uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, all you have to do is download it for free, and then when they say you can only save uh, a file. Uh, a day unless you pay for the software well I'm telling you how to actually cheat so you don't have to pay for the actual software uh, but uh, as you saw when I went to save that it said uh, to pay for the software well this is a way to cheat it so you don't have to pay for the software using open office uh, writer um, page thing where which is also free software that you can download by certain, download by certain sites but in order to save this picture as your own pictures so you can open it later because this right here is a portable graphic image from the internet you can't save this you can't edit this at all you can't do anything with this now I'm gonna right click I'm gonna save graphics as I'm gonna change it see how it says portable network graphic I'm gonna change this to either JPEG or GIF image uh, where it says for the saved file type, I'll just put gra uh, JPEG because GIF images are usually graphic images that are animated, um, and JPEG is more common. Uh, and then I'll just click, say, put Dragon. Okay, and then uh, because this is uh, a saved graphics, uh, you don't want to save it to your gallery because you'll never find it. I always just put save and, and pictures and then click save and now I can pretty much close out this open office org uh, thing unless I really want to resize this later but unless you have resizing editing software you don't need this open office uh, org um, web page right here you can just close that right out do you want to save just discard it you don't need it and then for this King Kong capturing software you can just close that right out and then you can close this out and now I'll go over to my pictures sorry for the screen messing up I'm using a CRT screen and this is only a quick video so I'll scroll down to where it says dragon there's the image right there I'll click on it or I'll double click on it it will then uh, I can then close out this of my pictures once my software opens up I'll close out this uh, from the Google uh, 
thing where, and this is my graphics, so this is showing how you can create your own graphics exactly like this logo right here using the screen capturing software. Uh, this logo right here is the property of trans.fm. However, uh, I've in incorporated it to my site and incorporated their fan page directly to their link for that. I'll close this out. My photo impact software. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm going with my camera. <laughs> my photo impact software is opening the the image. I will I can then copy this, create a new logo. This is how I do graphics all the time. And vector based graphics uh copy and paste that. Now I can move this. I can exit right out of the the original. Um then I can uh let's see I'll do the resizing format tool. Uh I can resize the image with that. I can move it around like this. Uh, I can make it a bigger graphic. Say I want like that or like this. Then what I'll do is I'll merge all the pro merge all this so that you, it's one image. Oh, let's see. I'll add say uh 3D text. Sorry, hold on just a second. Say my dragon if I can actually type it today as I'm holding this dragon okay there's my graphic as a 3d thing where you can put it anywhere uh, this just says you've reached the maximum limit to undo stuff uh, I don't even need you don't need to see that you can just click OK I mean because it, it, it just warns you that you you've reached a uh, a certain amount of edits uh, that you can do, etc. But regardless, okay, then uh, it's positioned properly where I want that. Let me get just a tad bit closer if I can, without the screen popping through. Uh, with that, um, all right. So there's my dragon there. I'll remerge all of those. So now that's one uh, move, non movable logo. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll do a new screen capture which that just copies that and now you can see it's all one image uh, I'll copy that and then I'll do a new page because it's always good to have extras and this way this one's still movable now that I've done that now I'm gonna remerge all of those and I'll grab my uh, bucket fill tool say I want I don't know I'll just I'll just do a random color hot pink there we go I just did part of my graphics there and if that wasn't cool I'll just go to edit undo back uh, bucket fill I'll do say blue uh, and there's a cool image or something like that you can always backtrack whatever you need uh, say that's not what I need done say I'll do uh, a paintbrush. So I just want to mark in some uh, tools here. See, now I can close out this, do this, uh, edit some of the graphics part here, erase some of this, erase this right here, and you can make this this screen the erasing thing any uh, shape. You can also change the size uh, for erasing this. Uh, you can do that. You can do a uh, whole bunch of stuff with this this software. This is Photo Impact Software Pro Professional 10 by Uweed Software. And I apologize for the poor quality of this video, but uh, uh, I'm just trying to do a bunch of weird stuff with this. Um, I can also make a new selection. I can do that. Uh, I'll close that out just to show. This is just to show some of the cool features of my software. Um, I'll just open, oh, let's see, I'll do Gears of War banner, oh, sorry, I did the wrong one, I was trying to do, oh, I'll do, uh, uh, let's see, I'll just do my cool ninja here, copy this into a new screen format, paste, move that here, now, uh, say that's too small, I'll edit 
this, make my ninja uh, bigger, and then I'll remerge that. Sorry if I'm going a little fast, but uh, I don't like to tend to give out my secrets about my software. Um, this is a tutorial, kind of. Um, okay, now that's one image. Now I can add text. Say I don't want the, uh, the highlight. Uh, say I just want Arial, and I don't want that. I'll just put uh, Karate School. All right, those are 3D graphics right there. Uh, all right, so and bear with me. I I know how to type. Um, I'm holding my camera, so I really don't really care what the hell this is saying for the correct spelling or whatever. I do know how to spell and stuff, so. I just want to point that out. I'm just, I'm just trying to get like a graphics and, and to show you what you can do with text, etc. Uh, I mean, you can put whatever you want. Um, say, put that, and then uh, instead of merging those, um, I'll actually, I'll, I'll re-edit this. I'll go back to this, and then I'll go back to the text. See how my screen tool popped up? I put 3D effect. I'll put, uh, say, I want a lighting tool. I want more colors for the background. See, now I just made a black uh, outline. Alright, now I'll do, say, I'll do another one right here. Say I don't want that too too big, so I'll put, say, uh, I don't know, Dojo. Uh, it, it's, it's limitless what you can do. You can also change colors. You can have After Effects with your colors. Uh, I'll put Karate Karate School Dojo there. I'll, I'll merge all those so that it's one file thing, so you can't move all those, and so you can use the bucket tool. Uh, let's see. I'll pick a red background. There's my new ba uh, screen. All right. Now, when I want to change that, uh, I'll take the rectangle creating tool and then do that. Now that's one whole image. Now I can copy that. Minimize this. Create new page. You you as a graphic designer, you will use a lot of pages. Trust me, you you'll use a lot of pages to to do different graphics. All right, now I have noticed that because there was a circle and it, it enclosed the circle, so when I went to fill in the around, the surrounding areas, it it did not fill the circle with red. Uh, this is a really cool feature. What I'll do is I'll remerge that. So that's one place. I'll go back to my selecting tool. And now I will go to my eyedropper, which which will take it, it will it pretty much sucks up the color you have if it's not already selectable on your colors, your two schemes that you can change over that you can use. If it's not selectable, click uh that so now it's one selectable format for your, your color you have. Now I'll use my bucket tool. And I will, if you look at the bucket tool, I don't know if I can get close enough, uh, there's a really, really fine pinpoint drop. That's where you, the exact pinpoint of where it will fill in your logo. If you don't, it can change and alter your whole image. For instance, uh, let's see. Oh, whoops, I saw my selecting tool here. Uh, let me click that out. And I don't need that. I'll remerge, remerge all that. So now I'll click my selecting tool, and then I'll click back to my bucket, and I'll show you what I mean. See what I mean? See how that just did messed up my whole ninja? But then again, it could have made a really cool graphic ninja. Uh, if that wasn't cool, I'll just edit, undo. All right. Um, and th as I said, this is a very pinpoint uh, thing right here. That's where the exact point of where the line needs, say you need the really fine line to fill in a, a small hole without filling in the whole page and messing it up, that's where you have to line that, that tiny pin line right to for the image. All right, so now I'm going to take that and I'm going to paste in all these little holes that did not get filled. And I'll do that. And then I'll do that, do that, and I'll paste in those. Oops, 
See how I just made a mistake? I just accidentally clicked on that black part of that the K and the A and just changed those completely red. So that wasn't right. So I'll go back to unedit, uh, unedit one bucket fill. And then I'll go back to my selecting tool. Uh, and as I said, this is just to be a quick video uh, about some of my software I have uh, that I use all the time. Um, and I'll use my selecting tool. It's like the lasso, uh, standard lasso tool. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to copy that. I'll close this out and I'll create a new page. You can also do web pages with this software too, which is cool. Uh, and I apologize again, this is still freaking messing up again. Uh, I'll copy and paste that. And now I have a cool new graphics. Uh, and then you can... This is how you can save graphics this way. You can also uh, edit graphics this way. I'll copy this. I'll go back open to uh, my openoffice.org and I'll create a new page, a new text document. And now I'll just click Control V. I'll paste that. See how big that image is? That's what your image looks like. Uh, and then you can just scroll down, make this a little bit smaller. And, and again, this is just the standard t uh, um, document page with openoffice.org. Uh, that, alright, say now that's my right graphics I want. Now I can save, pick, save graphics as, and I will change this to a JPEG image, etc. And then save it to wherever you want. Uh, I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that. Alright, now some of my other software that I have, as you can see, I have tons of software. Uh, uh, let's see, Photoscape, where's Photoscape? There it is. I'll show you how real quick how to do a, a graphics interchange uh, GIF file, which is, uh, this is the full version of Photoscape. You do have to pay for this one. Uh, they do offer a downloadable free trial version of this, um, but you had to pay for it to, to be able to edit stuff and to be able to do all this other cool stuff. All right, now it says in this little uh, circle thing here, it says animated GIF. GIF files are graphics interchangeable files, and you can do this with any type of files you want. And as a matter of fact, I want to do this really small, so what I'm going to do is I gotta find my pictures and uh, let's see where are they alright my my computer desktop whatever alright I'll just do cars because uh, it's pretty much anything that can go alright so say I want to make a, a GIF file and I apologize for this being a little bit messed up I'll go to my other screen and see if that oh. This one seemed like it was a better screen, but I'll drag a photo here. That's a big photo right there. This is going to be a flash format photo. Uh, I'll resize these to, uh, let's see, say 39%, 29%. You can do any sizing for this. All right, now I'll do, say, this one, say, that one. Uh, these are just random picking, so, and again, uh, you can control, see that, how it's a, a graphics interchange picture, all in one file. You can do that with a bunch of stuff, and you can change the, the changeover, uh, effect, you can change them so that once it's, it viewed, it expands to the full screen, and opens up a, uh, a flash format, um, you can change the alignment to them, you can change the background, foreground colors, uh, you, you can change the effects from sliding forward, uh, doing a, a photo show, uh, sliding up, sliding down, um, gra sliding to the left or sliding to the right, convert to a background, uh, fade to white, fade to black. Uh, uh, I mean, you can see now the changes from graphics going sliding up. Uh, you can change those, uh, you can change the time frame about how fast they go. Currently that was at 28 uh, frames per second, which means it changed it from uh, so many frames in that many seconds. 
and now I just changed it to 0.44 sec uh, frames per second, and that's a little bit slower. Uh, you can have backgrounds, you can do full images, you can do paper uh, full images, you can do thumbnails, uh, you can do thumbnails that expand, uh, like thumbnails are like little graphics like this that once somebody views your page or even clicks on it, uh, it will expand to a full or big screen image. Uh, you, you can change the effect to slide to the right, to the left. Uh, this is what you'd call an animated GIF file, where it saves it as a GIF picture, but what what people actually see when you change it or upload it to a website or whatever is that style sliding format of the GIF file. It's not one the first file that you started out with, which was the red car, uh, which is really cool. I mean. You can do uh, e even bigger photos like this if you want it, and have a say you wanted to have a featured um, uh, products on your your website your web page. You could have a whole bunch of these in different categories. You can even put on the top uh, on your website with, with a, an embedded gadget. Uh, you can have a label form for your website. Say. Uh, featured products, or, or say you have, have an, on, on the front of your page, featured products, then right on the graphic, you could have, uh, say, uh, computer parts, or, 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 or on sale items, or, or whatever. I mean, you can have whatever you want, and you can, ha and, and for, as far as I know, as f I've done this with my desktops to do a, a slideshow of my desktops at one point, and that was well over three. Or 2,600 and something uh, desktops that I had viewing at uh, 17 uh, frames per second, which was very fast. And it took almost a minute and a half just to go through at least 200 of those files. So, I mean, you really kind of want to keep it uh, a fairly decent amount, like maybe 40 to 100 photos or, or, or whatever uh, to keep it. And you want to, if you want to be able to have people view, the things without having to have it scroll really fast uh, you won't have all your um, photos being viewed very quickly you'll have to have uh, it, um, them changed over so that uh, they're a slightly faster format so that it doesn't take a person forever just to see all the images on your featured uh, page or whatever but as I said this is some of the graphics I have uh, the software that I use all the time I can also combine software, uh, I mean images, um, I'm trying to remember which logo I did, uh, let me go back into my logos, and I'll show you just real quick, and, and you can you can do, well, uh, like, you can make an iframe, uh, or a framed photo where there's a bunch of photos all over the place, uh, in different frames, um, for instance, uh, you can do that. You can do DVD Plus logos, and then change that to uh, the different characters. I mean, you can do checkerboard uh, photos. You, you can scale them to size. You can do stretch to images. Uh, there's tons of stuff you can do with this software alone. I mean, this uh, you can add graphics. You can do other stuff, uh, and again, uh, I'm not trying to say that you can use this software to make derivative works of official copyright uh, and trademark um, properties, but this is just to show how you can actually do some of this kind of stuff uh, in general really quick and make your own graphics uh, without violating other copyrights or trademarks of the original uh, copyrights and trademarks, etc. There is a few uh, freeware vector-based logos that people have made, including desktops, uh, that were derivative works of, or some of them were, they were actually had written permission to do as a developer um, for certain things, such as using uh, Microsoft logos to create a new Windows 7 desktop, um, etc., uh, for instance, uh, you, you can do that, um, and then some of them were actually 
derivative works of which I'm not promoting anybody to do that because you can get sued by any of the companies for hosting them uh, for giving your images your logos etc but I have a legal legit um, Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition tag on here however some of the logos the the backgrounds that I've downloaded some of them I've actually had to pay for uh, I've saved them as uh, categorized files such as uh, all of these, such as Windows 7 desktops, Windows Vista desktops, Windows XP Professional and Service Pack 3 XP des desktops, which there is a slight difference, Windows 95, 98, 2000, and Millennium desktops, Windows Black and Windows XP Pirated or Gold Edition uh, um, desktops, which I don't have a pirated version of Windows on this system. But I just saved it as that because you can, you can. Um, it's easier to, for me to categorize them that way. I have Linux desktops, Apple and Mac desktops, and cool extra desktops. I'm going to show you real quick. Some of these uh, are official Windows 7 desktops, and some of these are graphics or vector-based uh, desktops that somebody had created uh, as freeware. And I'm going to set that as best background. I'll show you what I mean. This was one of them uh, that's a, that somebody had created for a Windows 7 desktop. And there's also another derivative work of this one where there's an actual 7 in the middle of it. And it says Windows with a trademark for Windows. And then it says below somewhere where on their page that they're, uh, they were the ones that created it, uh, giving them work. Uh, they did that work from uh, another background um, as I said these are just vector and and other stuff that you can do uh, I mean all these are backgrounds right here and some of these are graphics for instance this right here I'll open this up this is Zangief that somebody created as you can tell with the the screen and that's going to open up my default Photo Impact uh, editing software or slash viewing software. Uh, and it takes a second for it to open up. All right, see, now you can see how I say, uh, now that says IGN.com. That means IGN.com either paid for this logo to be made with their logo or they created it. Now, I'm going to show you real quick how you can edit this and create your own logo. However, I'm not saying that you can use this software to make your own derivative works of any type of logos. Uh, because I know this image right here is actually downloadable as a free uh, vector-based uh, graphic that somebody did create and draw uh, in the first place. Uh, and I imagine their, their signature or drawing has been erased somewhere. But I've seen this logo everywhere else uh, and stuff like that so what I'm going to show you real quick how easy it is I'm going to copy this I'm going to do a new page I'm going to paste whoops paste that there's my graphic uh, say I just want this now I'm going to uh, merge all objects uh, I'll do let's see I need uh, the the eyedropper tool. I'll take this as a selectable thing. Now I'll do a paintbrush. And now I can cover over this whole image right here if I wanted to. You see what I mean? Uh, it's real easy for somebody to do any type of editing software. And then they can just do a new screen of that. Copy and paste this to a new page. I'm showing this as a mean, meaningful graphics uh, editor um, as what I am, which I'm not claiming I'm doing any of this stuff for uh, taking away other people's logos or whatever. But when I, I create a new derivative work logo, I always give the original creator their logo on theirs, and I always give the original creator or, or a link where you can, you can download that image and I also give the original owner 
their credit for the work besides me putting my stamp tag on saying this logo was created by me as a derivative work or a graphic or whatever. I mean, there's tons of things you can do with different editing software, photo software, video software, etc. Alright, now I'm going to show real quick again with that King, King Kong software that I can do that say I wanted uh, this media S pace player logo I can just do that and now I have uh, a brand new logo that I can uh, later on copy and paste this to uh, open office or uh, save, click and save, right click and save as graphics as save it as a picture so it's an actual picture and change the format from a um, to a JPEG and then once I want to open it up again I can just double click that under my pictures it will open my photo editing software and then it will change that so and then I can do what I just showed you with the uh, and take out this ending blue format background out and then I can take out uh, that media s piece text out uh, with all that other software and then I can create my own background and create a new logo from that in the first place um, I'm not saying to do that in general but I'm just saying that you can for this software to avoid paying for the King Kong software which is 30 bucks uh, I know uh, it does get annoying for when you go to save it but uh, another thing too is whatever you, you can only have one logo at a time so once you save it you gotta save that image right away uh, because otherwise if you minimize it you want to try to copy and paste this one or whatever it won't do it it will only continue to try copying and paste the other one so it's one at a time but you know as a save some bucks uh, save some money and uh, uh, use the software as if, as if it's a free full version software um, that's gonna be my video uh, real quick uh, I'm gonna change this back to this is the cool thing about these desktops. I have all these desktops on a disc that I do sell on my website for five dollars per disc and two dollars for shipping. And you don't have to even install the uh, the desktops from the disc to your computer and to take up a lot of space on your hard drive. You can just pop in the disc, push uh, open the files, uh, right click, click on any image you want, right click and save image as desktop or set image image as desktop and now you have new desktop and then you just click refresh and then pop out the disk and it won't take out it won't uh, remove that desktop once you take out the disk so I mean this was a really cool one that I had found uh, not too long ago this was an HD one that I believe I had to pay three dollars for for this logo uh, for this one to download as HD desktops so I mean it's up to you and uh, this is my other screen uh, I've got two screens playing right on one screen so uh, again uh, check out my videos and my site and everything else so thanks very much for watching alright bye